Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. What's going on, Tommy? Oh, it's uh, great weather here. Amazing things have happened since we've last been together. Super Bowl happened. I heard that was amazing. Right, the Chiefs won, so good job, Kansas City. And a lot of other things have happened in the media, such as Kobe Bryant's death that we're going to go into. All right, so let's go to work and let's do this now. So welcome back everyone. Well, Tommy, um, we have had one of the biggest news stories happen. One of the biggest things that have happened is, is that Kobe Bryant has passed away and he has uh, passed away with um, other members that were on the chopper with him. Including him and his uh, 14 year old daughter, there were seven other people that were on this short uh, transfer f uh, transportation flight from uh, one destination to the other. They also passed away, including the pilot in the crash. Right. Uh, from what I've seen, uh, that the pilot was trying to, what caused the crash is the pilot was trying to go above the clouds to get better visibility when um, all the instruments were rated just to be at low altitudes. And then another pilot, go, uh, fellow pilot that works for the same company, uh, said that this pilot did not have the ex flight time experience to fly uh, up in the clouds like he was doing. He, so that's what caused the crashes, that he didn't have the experience to fly where he was flying at. Exactly. And so basically, um, from what I've seen, a lot of people are, are still devastated to this day. Uh, a week later on, after Kobe's death, um, basically Charles Barkley has uh, fallen apart. Um, Shaquille O'Neal and his whole interview about Kobe has been devastated. He was emotional on camera. Our heart and our condolences go out to Kobe's family. And one of the most recent things that have come out about the story which I just read was, um, which I think was just the wrong time to, bring, to dredge it back up, um, is that over 17 years ago, this woman brought up that Kobe had ex uh, sexually assaulted her, and now she's bringing it back up after he passed away in this tragic uh, crash, which I think is in poor taste to bring it up again. Exactly. He, uh, this woman um, is bringing uh, that back up because she wants attention. She also wants money. Uh, she wants uh, people to know that, hey, you know, just because he was a great basketball player, a great father, doesn't erase that he also uh, was potentially a sexual predator. Right. But basically... Um, you know, we don't know what happened behind closed doors, and so that's not the best time to bring that up after somebody else's death. It's kind of like the woman from Thriller, uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller, how she brought up uh, stuff after Michael died, and basically she wanted money, she wanted this, she wanted to sue the estate, and so if you watch Thriller, Michael Jackson's Thriller, you will know what I'm talking about, the girlfriend that Michael walks home with, and then um gets scary in front of and does his um famous thriller dance so the whole entire situation is sad you know that uh you know that now uh there's his wife doesn't have is is, is lost her husband and one of her daughters now she only has just just uh she's got one less daughter now um and then uh it's also just also terrible how People are bringing up these things that sad that, you know, his wife, you know, has to, uh, you know, is, lost her daughter and her husband. 
Um, and now her and her remaining do- uh, the remaining daughter are now grieving. And uh, people like this woman is bringing up these old sexual charges about him after he died to say, hey, he's not who you thought he was. I just, I, that's my, my thoughts are, is let them grieve. There might be a time to look into that later on down the road, but now is not the time. Exactly. So I have to say that uh, the people are wanting, there's a petition signed by fans out there that want to have Kobe Bryant um, added to the NBA logo. And yeah, um, the, uh, there's a petition going around for uh, fans wanting uh, his, you know, him to be part of the NBA uh, logo uh, in honor of him. And also, um, it's uh, been a big push uh, to also speed up his uh, initiation into the uh, NBA Hall of Fame. I've also seen that going around too. People want him, want that to be, you know, because that has been had been in the works before he this crash happened so also fans also want that to be sped up too exactly and i agree with it if uh he he he's gonna be a part of the hall of fame no matter what um no matter what negative things people say about him or old stories that have been uh said about him for one i believe he should be put in the hall of fame for two he should be part of the nba logo as well um if it's not part of the NBA logo, especially part of uh, the LA Lakers logo some way, somehow, I like that idea. Um, from what I've seen um, on multiple stories that Kobe was great with kids that had cancer, um, Make-A-Wish Foundation. Make-A-Wish Foundation is a part of, you know, when you have cancer, kids get their wish. Or if they're sick, kids get their wish. And so Kobe was a great part of that. And I like how he was such a great part of that. Because basically he was down to earth from what people said. And from other NBA players that Kobe knew. Um, they said Kobe was one of a kind. He was great. He was humbled. Just like we're humbled. So uh, it's a great idea to throw that in there as far as ideas. I look forward to Kobe's legacy uh, being um, a part of the NBA. He also uh, was a great dad. He also he coached both his daughters uh, in, in sports and uh, you know encouraged them if they wanted to do sports to do sports and whatever they were, were wanted to do in their life. Uh, and he once was asked in an interview um, by some, uh, an interview, and the interview said, guy said, said, wouldn't it be a lot easier if you had boys? And literally this is what Kobe said. He said, no, I'm really grateful that I had, I had girls because if I had boys, things would be, would be too crazy. Uh, I could tell Kobe was a good dad, good coach. Uh, he was a a gentle person all around. Um, so be, we wanted to wait to shoot this story because we wanted to wait and see, you know, after the full week after everything happened. Um, we just didn't want to get out there and get on camera and be like, oh, Kobe passed away. Here's what happened. There's a lot more to it than that. Right, Tommy? Yeah. And so that's why we're shooting this now to tell you and give you our thoughts and our opinions about Kobe Bryant's death and the rest of the passengers' death. And from here, we will look forward to more good stories that are coming to you guys soon. And to all you young, inspiring athletes that looked up to him, just know that he cared about you. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, he cared about each and every person out there fan no fan um he was like i said a great guy so rip kobe bryant in 2020 and you will not be forgotten don't forget to subscribe give a thumbs up and stay tuned for more and we will see you next time we'll be back soon and we'll see you guys later so bye for now